This video is all about how to design a new product. Maybe you've had an idea or someone in your company has had an idea, but you don't know how to take that to a point where you can actually go and get a manufacturer and get it made. Well, this video is for you. Make sure you keep watching to the end because I'm gonna go through a case study where we have helped someone to develop their pet product that is now selling really well on the market. So let's look at the process for getting your new product idea from initial concept through to manufacturing readiness. So in this diagram, as you can see, we start with feasibility and it's crucial to make sure that what you're developing is actually going to be feasible to manufacture, technically possible and commercially viable. Now, if we can establish all of that, then we get into the more detailed product design work with sketching, computer-aided design, maybe if it's a hard goods product, maybe some basic physical models. And really what we're doing is fleshing out the concept um, and exploring things like kind of ergonomics and usability, mechanisms, all of the key elements are really considered in detail. In this early stage, all of those type of ideas are developed and given form, and then they can be reviewed with our clients, um, changes made relatively rapidly and cost effectively if necessary, before we then go on to the more detailed design work that happens next. And this is where all the, the key elements of the product are defined before we then go into prototyping. Now prototyping is quite expensive, so really what you want to try and do is ensure that all the key details are worked out before then. And that's what the design phases are all about. Now in prototyping, it really is a loop. It's about prototyping uh, the best version of the concept that we've come up with so far, testing that for the target market. And this really is critical. You do need to make sure that what you're designing is not just something that you would like, but it's something that the wider market will be prepared to buy. So once you've done all of that, you then probably feed all of that information back into a second round of prototyping where all the necessary changes and tweaks can be made. And again, you're back into a test phase. And then once you've got to a point where your product is as good as possible, whilst bearing in mind it still needs to be manufacturable and it still needs to be cost effective and that's where a professional product design team uh, like D2M can really help keep all of those things uh, in focus during the process and then you're into the production readiness phase where we can source a manufacturer sort out a manufacturing specification maybe do some value engineering if necessary to ensure that it's as cost effective as absolutely possible to produce and then when all of that's done, you can move into the manufacturing stages. Um, do watch my other videos on that because that's a whole kind of process within itself. Now I said at the beginning that I would share a case study with you. So this is the Tatty Head product. We worked on this a good few years ago. Relatively simple treat dispenser, obviously in a a novelty shape uh, which was really appealing and desirable to the target market and you can see here the stages that we went through some of the early stage concept sketching CAD modeling to get the actual 3d form absolutely right this then can be reviewed um, and spun around and cross-sectioned and whatever so to make sure that actually you're entirely happy with that before then as I say we go into prototyping which obviously can get quite expensive we have 3D printing facilities in-house and workshops so we can make most prototypes actually here in the UK where we're based. And then we're into the focus groups and testing with, with the dogs, making sure that the product works as it should do with a wide range of different treats, all of that kind of thing, getting all the finer details sorted out. And then as you can see, here is the final product uh, for sale on Amazon. Now, if you want to sell your products on Amazon, do check out this other video where I talk about how to do that and some key things that you need to bear in mind. 